Hello and welcome to a new video. Today's topic is computer RAM. It's an essential component for day-to-day -day tasks like web browsing, editing files like PowerPoint, Word or Excel, and using or running any applications open in the background. And I guarantee you that you didn't know some of the informations in this video. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe. It is free and you can always change your mind later. Now, let's get started. Computer RAM, Random Access Memory or Ready Access Memory is the short-term storage, where your computer keeps every program and background applications open. If it were to malfunction, the entire computer would shut down and go into the BIOS or basic input and output system. Anytime that you play a video game or watch a YouTube video, your computer loads the necessary data that the CPU uses and needs in the system RAM. This means that with more RAM, you could have better multitasking capabilities on one device. If your computer or laptop doesn't have enough RAM, it may be very slow and unresponsive, especially when having multiple applications open at the same time. So in general, if you get annoyed by the laggy programs running on your computer, and your computer is being slow in general, the lack of RAM is usually the one to blame. The best cost-effective way to improve your performance may be to upgrade your RAM, since it is one of the biggest determining factors in gaming and multitasking performance. The system RAM communicates and collaborates with the CPU and GPU by transferring data at really high speeds compared to traditional storage. 20 to 100 times faster depending on the specific hardware and task compared to hard drives or M.2 NVMe drives for example. But compared to hard drives, once the device is turned off, all the data stored in the system RAM is erased. Each RAM DIMM or RAM stick has many memory chips that rapidly write and rewrite data between components. These memory chips have great speeds, with newer architectures or models reaching speeds of up to 6 GHz on the newest CPU platform. Another very important thing to know is that you have to use the same model and generation of RAM in each RAM DIMM slot. If not, your computer may malfunction and be laggy without any reason. Then there is also the amount of memory chips on the stick, with RAM DIMMs that have 4 GB, 8 GB, 16 GB, 32 GB, 64 GB, and even 128 GB of memory, which are obviously more expensive than sticks with less memory. In the modern days, it is usually recommended to have at least 16 GB of RAM, if not 32 GB. New applications and programs are beginning to take up more and more space, especially if you have a lot of tabs open in your web browser and if you have a lot of other apps open at the same time. Don't worry though, even if you have less than the recommended amount of RAM, you can always upgrade it later if you need to. You can also choose the RAM latency, usually displayed as CL40, CL38, CL36, etc. It is generally better to choose something in the middle, so that you don't spend too much money on latency but it also won't hold back the rest of your system and bottleneck it. The computer RAM is usually located on the right side up of the motherboard to the side of the CPU, to be as close as possible to the main processor, to reduce latency and data travel distance. It is slotted in manually in the motherboard's RAM DIMM slots, so you can always remove and upgrade them later. In some rare cases, RAM DIMMs can physically break if you don't slot them incorrectly, but sometimes they just break on their own because of unknown reasons. That's why you must also make sure that the RAM temperature doesn't get too high so that it doesn't thermal throttle. For gaming, you should have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, and unless you are doing other professional work, you won't need any more than that, but you could also get 32 gigabytes of RAM if you are a multimedia creator and also for good measure. So depending on your needs, you can get the sufficient RAM amount for those tasks. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also check out my website with more articles like this with the link on your screen. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.